Yeah, listen, listen, I, I'm sorry for like not being consistent. Like, it's just one of them things I've been in the mood where I've been moving rooms, been thinking about new internet. By the way, I'm doing daily streams right off my phone and I haven't done it today. So I'm gonna do it right after this video, but let's get right into it, all right? Well, so I'm gonna try to make this as quick as possible, but also like very consistent. I actually add some really cool stuff to this video. So it'll be out on Wednesday, I get it, on consistent. I thought I was gonna upload Monday, Wednesday, Friday, then I switched to Tuesday, Thursday, and now I'm all over the place. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> Listen, I'm just trying to be as original as possible and try not to fake videos, man. I just wanna upload really good content for you guys. And seriously, I've been really hectic with school and I'm not gonna make excuses. I'm just lazy sometimes and I don't wanna record it. It's just one of the things. The new season dropped today, that'll be up tomorrow. I don't know. I don't know, man. <laughs> anyway, we're just going to get right into the video. I hopefully you guys do enjoy this. If you guys want to use code hyper to get one yourself, one of these really cool chairs that you see always behind me, use code hyper for 5% off your order and get godlike aim in every game. Anyway, we're going to get right into this. So, then we're going to be doing a setup tour. Now, a lot of people, you guys ask, what are these lights? What are these lights? What are these lights? Let me show you guys what the setup is and what I have. So, let's get right into it. Let me let me take you guys off. Okay, this is my setup. As you guys can see, I'm going to try to put this on autofocus. So this is my G Fuel collection that I have right here sitting on my left of my desk. You guys will see that on in a, here in a minute. We got uh, three, nine, no, eight G Fuel tubs. I've had many cans, but this is what I have for now. I have three controls that I have not. When I tried them, they weren't that good for some reason, and I just haven't wanted to try them since. We have my mixer right here. This is an MG 10XU uh, mixer. I got this for 175 bucks with an AT2020, everything but a boom arm, and this thing is awesome. There's so many sound effects that I can control with just this knob here. There's plenty of them here, as you guys can see. A whole bunch of them that I can use and honestly it's great to have these when I'm trolling on my friends these are my cables for the camera that I'm currently recording on and this is basically the dummy battery and then this is the HDMI that plugs into my cam link that I've been using for the videos here's my boom arm this is not a road boom arm I found this one I don't remember what who it's by it was like 50 bucks it's really good and it squeals sometime but not a lot this is also the Samson Q2U this is a really good dynamic mic for only 70 bucks I think you could probably pick it up on 50 on a deal but for me I got this 70 bucks right here and I've been loving it I've been using it more than the AT2020 sorry that these shots are kind of out of focus uh, this camera is not really good for that but um, I had this hooked up to the boom arm and then it goes into the XR and the here. And then in my latest video, I showed you guys that I did have these in my cheap video that I will link right at the top. It should be on the top right. It will have a little timestamp thing. You guys can watch this video. These I'll go explain um, in that other video. Just go watch that. Here is a monitor that I've been using. It's only 75 hertz and it's really not that bad, but I, it does not mount, so I cannot mount my monitors anyway. Um, but if I do get another monitor, I will probably remove this one and get one that can be mounted so I can mount these both to make it look better. Up here is where usually my camera would be, have a little mount with a little stand, um, but this was perfect and I've been loving the setup because of this and it makes the room just a whole much better for having that quality. Okay, this blinding son of a thing is the Elgato key light. If you guys don't know what this is, this is an amazing freaking light that you guys can get. Um, I fortunately got one of these sent to me for free by Elgato. I've not reviewed this thing, but this is basically a quick review. This thing is awesome. It can change colors and light. So right now, this is at, as you guys can see my monitor, this is currently at 4950 Kelvin, and it's only at 50% brightness. So if I turn this all the way up, it makes everything 10 times brighter. And if I really want, I can turn this down, down to 10, and then it's down so this is I usually use it at 10 for my photography shots because I don't want it too bright but for now I have it on 50 to show everything in my setup I have some stuff laying on my desk like my glasses in case I get headaches some velcro stuff that I found uh, from my keyboard uh, my wallet because I'm always up here when I get up in the morning which I'll show in a minute so I always have my wallet on here so I can see and remember it and then I got my OBS and then my voice meter which I use if you guys want a link to this and want to know how to use this I will do a tutorial so you guys know how to use this because a lot of people don't have a go XL are currently I could use this instead but I like doing it all virtually this is my extra battery that I use this one's dead right now and then a screwdriver that I never put away because I'm too lazy yeah I'm hyper whatever anyway this is my keyboard just got this thing this thing is sick if you guys don't know this is a hundred fifty dollar keyboard cherry MX reds and let me give you a sound test
this thing is amazing as you guys heard from that sound test this thing is so nice it's cherry mx reds and i love the design and it's just mountain vibes that i get and it's currently like my colors so it even matched even better and this thing is such an awesome keyboard from my last one if you guys do want to buy my last one i am selling it so please buy it i'm poor anyway we got my glorious model o this thing is sick um model o minus actually this is not the model o uh, this thing is really sick to have as a mouse because it's really nice it's holy it's really glidey and it makes everything better when i game i can precision pretty much and it's perfect for my hand because my hand's kind of small um but the only thing that i had to do just now um probably like a couple days ago is i had to suck all the fur hair out of here because i have a whole bunch of dogs and it gets right inside of it so easy but it, it was so easy to get out you just put a vacuum up to it and it doesn't damage anything that i know of click disclaimer the specter is uh 24 inch this is a 27 inch for some reason that seems smaller than that one and i'm kind of iffy on it anyway okay on to this stuff this right here is not mine it is actually my school's i was going to record with it but i can only ha i only have a 50 millimeter lens on it for now, um, I did not grab the 24, sadly. I should have grabbed it, and I could have used it and showed the full tour, but I'm dumb and didn't do that. Anyway, we got the that. It's a 50 millimeter. Um, this is actually a Canon lens with a Sony mount uh, for a Canon lens onto a Sony camera. Let's just read it. I don't know why they did this, but um, it's a 7AI or a7ii um i currently want the a7iii but i may go for the esor eos r um by canon because i think canon's getting their game up and i don't really know if sony's catching up with them anyway we got this um i've been using this it's a really good camera uh, we also got my phone and then my wireless charger got paper towels on deck for all occasions because you never know when you need them got my sketching pad um this controls my lights right here uh, it's a little bit drowned out because of the big light up there but this controls uh the lights there it re looks really cool my pencil sketch pad this is for my lights over there which i'll show in a minute i actually made this is my string art um, I have an MK60 Pro that I actually don't need, which I thought I did, but I don't. This was also sent to me by Elgato, and now it's just sitting in my PC. So if I ever get partnered, I'm going to take this out, I'm gonna put it back in, and I'm going to give it away and sign it for you guys. Anyway, and then we got the box for my Samsung QTU because that holds up this. And then we got my Aver Media box that holds up my window because my window's broke. Um, but yeah. So, now go to the good part that everyone wants to see. So, we right here we got two floodlights that power up onto my wall to make it all blue, because I love blue. And this is what this was for right here. So, you got this right here, and I can power it to make it any color I want if I wasn't clicking the color already. So, I can change it to any one I want. Purple, if I really wanted to, I could do a little bit of a mode where it's like a disco. Um, currently I don't like that and then we got all the cords there the reason why the cable management is horrible is because literally my power went out so that's why I'm moving rooms anyway we got the monster prisms if you guys want to know they're like 60 bucks for four of them these things look amazing look at it crazy anyway we got this 10 bucks I got from my from my girlfriend um, I did that was in my last video all this stuff was in my last video except for these but and then we got these this is also monster um, lights neon it's actually pretty cool it got a lot of bugs stuck up in there for some reason and yeah that's basically it for the setup tour if you guys want to know this is my bed i just put my stuff up there but yeah this is my bed this is what i sleep on in the background you guys don't see this I actually made it because of this reason anyway um this is the box that that sony came in so we have a i don't know why it's not focusing Right here we have a, a Sony or a Canon 70 to 300 millimeter lens, and then inside we have more batteries, um, stuff like that to help out. And this is for my school. So uh, shout out to my school, by the way. I'm not gonna say it. This is my camera bag. This is my 50 millimeter lens I was shooting on in the camper on Saturday with my friend. This thing's dope. Love that. This is my camera bag. That's my school's. Anyway, that is a sucky camera bag. Don't get it. Don't recommend it. Never recommend it. That my girlfriend got me whatever and then my steel series headset which i forgot these things are freaking dope okay i always use these for like three years and i've never had any problems now to the biggest thing of them all the pc no i'm just kidding the respawn products use code hyper for five percent off i'm gonna say it again five percent off of your order if you please use code hyper please i'm sorry i didn't i didn't mean to do it. i didn't mean to i'm sorry anyway we got the desk if you guys don't know 
okay? Got all this stuff. This is what's holding all my stuff. I've stood on this desk and it has not collapsed. And if that does not sell you, then what does, okay? So I'm gonna show you guys some of the cable management than the PC. So underneath, we really don't have much going on. Uh, two cable raceways I've only used. And then some of the cords are really stretching as you guys can see it again to the PC, which I'll get in a minute. But we have a couple that are just dangling. But when we move into the new setup, I'm cable managing everything, making my PC a little bit better position and 100% making this a full gaming room. So right here in my PC, we have the Ryzen 7 2700X on a MSI X470 top, oh man, I don't even remember. Uh, something, I don't remember, it's been too long. Two uh, fans I bought off the internet, uh, a 2060 Super, one terabyte hard drive, 480 gig SSD, and then 3600 megahertz RAM. That is a lot. And with the stock cooler, which I need to upgrade. But other than that, in a 750 watt power supply. And if you guys can see, there's the Elgato thing. You guys can see my reflection. But there's the Elgato thing that I never use. And then some of the stuff up here is what I use. My power brick for my camera. And then I got an ankle weight that was holding down my old light and stuff like that. But that's basically it. This is horrible. Don't look at that, please. Anyway, that's it for the setup tour. I'm going to put you back right now. Oh man, that was a lot to cover guys. Literally, that was a whole bunch of stuff. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the video. If you guys have any questions of what any of this stuff is, or maybe I didn't explain it very well. I know I said early in the video, don't message me about it. I'm kidding. Well, if you guys do have any questions, feel free to join the Discord, follow me on Twitter and all my socials, and go just ask me. I don't have a problem. Also, follow me on Instagram. I'm posting daily, hopefully, I kind of, maybe, I don't know. Anyway, we're going to be doing that in a uh, I'm just going to be trying my best with it. So hopefully you guys do enjoy that type of content on there. And that's it, guys. Um, Subscribe, like, whatever. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the setup. This is mine. I'm going to personally be doing another one probably in the next month or two. So, you know, just go ahead, you know, like the video. And uh, let's see if we can hit 10 likes. 10 likes on this video, baby. Let's do it, baby. Anyway, I'm out. Stay happy.